Paul Bia Africa's longest serving president. Paul Bia's extended rule has not been without significant controversy. Throughout his tenure, allegations of human rights abuses, electoral fraud, and corruption have been persistent. International organizations such as Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International have criticized his government for handling political dissent and the Anglophone crisis. Bia's wealth has also been scrutinized. Reports suggest that he has amassed considerable wealth during his time in office, raising questions about corruption and the use of public funds. Despite these criticisms, Bia has maintained a firm grip on power, often through political maneuvering and control over the security forces. Early Life and Education Paul Bia was born on February 13, 1933, in the village of Mvomika, located in the Diet Lobo region of Cameroon. His birth name was Paul Bartholomew Bia. His Roman Catholic background shaped his early education. He attended various mission schools, which instilled a sense of discipline and a strong educational foundation. After completing his primary education, Bia studied at the prestigious Lycee General Leclerc in Yaoundé, Cameroon's capital. His academic prowess earned him a scholarship to further his studies in France. He attended the University of Paris, where he obtained a degree in public law. Bia continued his education at the prestigious Institut des Hauts Etudes d'Alcrie Mur, where he deepened his understanding of administration and governance. A political rise. Paul Bia's political career began in earnest in the early 1960s. Following Cameroon's independence from France in 1960, Bia was appointed to various positions within the government. His rise was notably influenced by his close relationship with then-President Amadou Ahidjo. Bia served as Director of the Cabinet of the Minister of National Education, Secretary General of the Ministry of National Education, and Minister of State for National Education. His competence and loyalty were rewarded in 1968 when he was appointed Secretary General of the Presidency. In 1975, Bia was named Prime Minister, a role that positioned him as President Ahidjo's constitutional successor. In a surprise move in November 1982, Amadou Ahidjo resigned, citing health reasons, and Bia assumed the presidency. Significant political and economic developments and controversies have marked Paul Bia's presidency. Upon taking office, Bia pledged to continue Ahidjo's policies and introduced rigor and moralization to combat corruption and inefficiency. Political reforms and challenges. Bia's early years as president saw attempts at political liberalization. In the late 1980s, he faced growing pressure for democratic reforms. This culminated in the legalization of opposition parties in 1990, which ended the single party system that had been in place since independence. The first multi-party presidential elections were held in 1992, and despite allegations of electoral fraud, Bia emerged victorious. Economic policies. Economically, Bia's tenure has been a mix of success and hardship. Cameroon experienced economic growth in the early years of his presidency, driven by the agricultural and oil sectors. However, the mid-1980s and early 1990s saw a severe financial crisis, exacerbated by falling commodity prices and structural adjustment programs imposed by the International Monetary Fund, EIF. Bia's government implemented various economic reforms to stabilize the economy, including the privatization of state-owned enterprises and efforts to attract foreign investment. Social and cultural impact. Bia's long rule has also had a profound impact on Cameroonian society. His government has invested in infrastructure development, healthcare, and education, although critics argue that these sectors are still underfunded and plagued by corruption. The president has maintained a strong central government, often at the expense of regional autonomy, which has led to tensions, particularly in the Anglophone regions of Cameroon. These areas have experienced persistent unrest and calls for greater autonomy or independence, leading to violent clashes with government forces. And legacy. As of 2024, Paul Bia remains the president of Cameroon, making him the longest serving president in Africa and one of the longest serving leaders in the world. His presidency over four decades has left an indelible mark on Cameroon's political, economic, and social landscape. Bia's legacy is complex. On one hand, he has overseen periods of stability and economic growth. 
On the other, his tenure has been marred by allegations of authoritarianism, corruption, and human rights abuses. The future of Cameroon post Bia remains uncertain, with questions about the country's political stability and the potential for democratic transition. In summary, Paul Bia's life and presidency offer a rich tapestry of African political history characterized by resilience, controversy, and enduring influence. His story is a testament to the complexities of leadership in a post-colonial African context, where the challenges of governance, development, and democracy are ever-present.